Hello everyone, it's me Ross. Is your iPhone hurting your eyes? Do you have a headache? Do you have a sore eyes or eye strain? If so, this video is for you. Alright everyone, this is my iPhone 15 Pro Max, but this problem came when Apple started using AMOLED screens and this happened from iPhone 10 or X. Because uh, they are with better colors, be they are more battery friendly, but they are not friendly with our eyes. And if you have a uh, sore eyes, if you have a headache, if you have an uh, eye strain or anything else and you can't use uh, your device after 5 minutes or even after a minute and uh, you start feeling the pain, sorry to say you, but you are like me and we are one of the few to experience that problem. We have sensitive eyes. That uh, doesn't mean uh, you have uh, bad vision or anything, you need a glasses, just our eyes are very sensitive to PWM or pulse width modulation. What does mean? That means every AMOLED screen has that uh, PWM. This is something which causes our screen to flicker with uh, different modulation and of course that hurts our eyes. Today I will show you how you can reduce that and uh, make your eyes feeling better because uh, believe me I have the same problem and I experience this every day. That's why I'm making that video because to help other people like me this is uh, not a clickbait, this is a real solution, not 100% solution because 100% solution is to stop using your device or just to reduce the using of your device and of course if uh, that uh, still doesn't uh, have help you just change your phone, that's it. But I will try to reduce that feeling. Okay guys, as I already mentioned that uh, pulse width modulation, this is something which causes the screen flickering of our device and this happens especially when the screen is at low brightness. Let me just show you. Now I will just lower the brightness of my screen and the flicker will start. If you can't see it, I will now uh, play a little bit with the shutter speed of uh, my recording device and you can see the real problem when uh, we are going to the lower brightness the screen is start flickering very very frequently and when we are increase the brightness that uh, is not uh, uh, so, bit, uh, so big of a problem it is uh, start flickering less but you can see these uh, big uh, black uh, strips which are coming through our display, when we lower the brightness, they are getting bigger and bigger. And this is causing the problem. This is hurting your eyes and your head. And how to reduce that? I will go directly to the real problems and we will explain you how to fix uh, that issue. So if you go in your iPhone in settings and you go in display here, if you, uh, if you can see the brightness. Of course, you have uh, that night shift. If uh, I open it, let me read you what's happened. Night shift automatically shift the colors of your display to the warmer end of the color spectrum after dark. This may help you to get a better night sleep. So, of course, you can uh, enable uh, that, make it manual. Now it's uh, very, very yellow. Of course, I'm not a big fan of this because uh, it's getting more warm, it's getting more cold and so on. This is something which is not helping me. Even it makes uh, the things worse and I experience a bigger headache even now at that moment when I'm showing you that uh, it is start hurting my eyes. That's why I will disable it immediately. But some of you may feel better when they enable that feature. I'm not feeling better, I'm feeling even worse. That's why I didn't enable that, but you can enable it. Here something else probably you already knew is uh, dark. If you enable dark mode that is something which uh, uh, will help you a little bit at least you can try it because you can see the whole screen is now going black and that's how the AMOLED screens are working because every pixel is uh, light up behind uh, the screen and uh, when we have a dark area the pixel is just turned off and that means less uh, light, less uh, hurt of your eyes. I will disable dark mode now because it's better for uh, the video recording but you can try switching between uh, light and dark mode also you can make it automatically to switch it from uh, sunset to sunrise and so on. 
you can uh, try a different thing just by uh, text size increasing the text size because it will be a lot uh, more visible to your eyes and uh, maybe they are feeling better now i will go straight to the main point which will probably help you the most but after that i will give you a few other tips to uh, make uh, your eyes feeling better so guys if you go in settings and accessibility here you will find display and text size if you tap on it and scroll down you will find that option reduce white point and what does mean let me just enable it and you can see what's happened the screen is getting very very dark but now you can increase the brightness to the maximum level and you will not experience that pwm which is uh, the flickering of your screen and you are feel, you will feel it better also you can uh, make it 100 percent this is very dark even the screen is at maximum brightness but you can lower it and test at uh, which uh, percentage your eyes are feeling better now are 72 you can go for 50 and so on and so on so i will now enable and disable that, that option just look at the text what's happened with the text you can see now it's washed out when i enable it it is with a lot better view angle let's disable again and enable again and you can see what happened the the black color is just uh, pumping uh, and uh, you can see better what's happened on your screen of course it is not very comfortable uh, every time to go in settings and enable and disable that option and if you are going outside probably you need your device at full brightness that's why you need to disable that option for a moment i will show you how to make it quicker let's just go in settings control center and here you can see that accessibility shortcut you can just uh, tap the plus sign so when you enable it and now it's here on uh, your control center just uh, go again in settings and uh, select accessibility scroll down and you will find here accessibility shortcut tap on it and from here just select the option that we need reduce white point just tap on it and now it's uh, selected reduce white point let's just go swipe down and tap here you can see it is directly reduced the white point is reduced and you can start uh, using your device when you are inside and you doesn't need the maximum brightness of uh, your device from here also from control center you can go back select again that control center and from here you can put uh, the dark mode there because uh, if you need uh, to enable or disable that uh, dark mode of your device it will be way easier from the control center and your eyes will start feeling better and this is the trick about the reduced white point that will make you feel a lot better and uh, your eyes will thank you another trick which uh, i want to show you is uh, which helps me is if you are going settings and you can see that true tone that uh, true tone what's uh, written automatically adapt iphone display based on ambient lightning conditions to make colors appear consistent in different environment this will switch the colors of your display now it is a little bit uh, yellowish let me just disable the true tone you can see that it is uh, now way more colder it is way more bluish which uh, makes me feel better so that true tone is always disabled for me i doesn't like it it is uh, hurting my eyes that's why i just disable it from day one another thing you can uh, change is uh, and make your eyes feeling better is just going again in settings accessibility display and text uh, size scroll down and you can see where is hidden the option to auto brightness now from here you can just turn off that auto brightness because when it's enabled it, this will increase and decrease the brightness of your screen and we already see what's happened without uh, pull suite modulation it is uh, start flickering uh, with very big black stripes which are hurting your eyes now when the auto brightness option is uh, disabled of course you can just swipe down uh, from the right of your iphone and from here just change the brightness to whatever level you want 
you can make it uh, with lower brightness and higher brightness and if you are inside and you are using higher brightness of course this will hurt your eyes less and guys that is almost almost everything uh, with uh, the software of your iPhone which uh, you can change to make your eyes feeling better something else which uh, I also want uh, to show you you can see that uh, my iPhone 15 Pro Max now has some screen protection installed on it but if you are if you change all these settings and your eyes are still not feeling better just remove the screen protector because there are cheap uh, screen protectors uh, out there in the stores which are hurting your eyes a lot that's why just remove the screen protector if you have one and it is uh, still hurting your eyes after all this setting that was it for today guys if uh, this video helps you somehow you can thank me by just subscribe to my channel and like my videos thanks for watching have a nice day